snakes. It's all in the legend. There's snakes all over Ireland, but not stone snakes. And he lit his fire in them, and he lit it early in the day, and when the snake worshippers came, it had been desecrated, and he rid Ireland of stone snakes. <laughs> Yes, sir. All the mounds. Now you know. Our, our all the we have a hunch that their measurements were just as accurate as ours. Their days and their times and their clocks and the things they set up, very accurate. They knew that this comet's coming back. I don't know if you saw the paper today or not, but the, somebody said, hey, you know, there's going to be a comet coming back here in, what is it, 2029? 20, He's been predicting a 2015. Uh, Victor Klub uh, is pretty close to that. It's a recurring thing. It says it could wipe out the continent. Uh, it gets a little scary. Hope we got that space telescope up there to see it far enough in advance and use some of those nuclear weapons that they stockpiled in Russia to, to divert it because it's coming and uh, and those ancients knew it and the, the comet symbols and the dragon of Britain is the comet all over the old stones that we find mind boggling we don't ask you to believe this we ask you to look at it and uh, yes Charlestown Indiana, that's the stone that you had that you saw there that had Uther's name on it. And uh, what he didn't tell you was at the very top of it, it shows you a picture of a boat, and it has a square box in the boat. Amazing. Had to go through a strait. Had to go through the falls of Ohio's 20 foot drop. Yeah. Mm. Seven people. The signs around the boat as the two kids like in together. The seven dots with seven people in four. Two uh, in Wales, you've got a lot of duplicate words. You've got, the, uh, you know, more means the sea, but more means multitude. And then you've got guid means a goose, but guid means uh, cognition, recognition, presence. And you've also got uh, many, many of these dual words. And we found that uh, when we were looking further back, about 2000 BC in the east, these things came into play with sort of hieroglyphic signs. Right? And Therefore, the word Dewey means two, but Dewey also means the ruler. So whenever you see two, you can often infer, infer the ruler. And that uh, picture actually reads uh, around the boat. One went mutually together with the ruler to pass through mutually together. And there's a boat with a box in it. So whether it refers to this body in a box in a boat, I don't know. So that's what Jim is getting at. But that's what it actually says. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In yes. 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 Maddox buried here. Okay. Arthur's buried back there because they took him back. Okay, they took him back. He may have been dead ahead, but they took two of his sons back for success. Yeah, there were there were other sons and there were other brothers of Arthur. He had, uh, he had a brother St. Paul, a brother Idna who was murdered, a brother Freoch who is a Reoch in the life of Symphonian, going to marry the daughter of the king of the Picts. And so there were other people flying around who, who were in the picture. Uh, also, there were sons around. Gwydneth is mighty in blood. Um, Morgan and Ethel. So, you know, there were other people in, in the frame as well. And Malik was probably better off with a bigger country of his own. Uh, he had apparently one son named Flacky means the glittering one, who was murdered. There, there seemed to be a lot of mayhem going on at the time over the throne. Uh, there's some confusion over whether Morgan and Ethel, who then ruled, uh, are sons of Arthur, but other records clearly indicate they're sons of Maddox. And uh, I'm inclined, to, the, the problem is, it's a Welsh word, and they say, ap, it means son of, but they also use it for successor to. So if a brother succeeds a brother on the phone, they say like Howell Apriest, but they're actually brothers. But Howell Apriest could be 
sun off, you see. And it, it does cause some confusion, and, and it's taken a lot of weeding up, but it's highly likely that Morgan, uh, which means begotten overseas, that's what the name means, is, is the son of Malik. Okay, amazing. Wouldn't it be nice if Alan can get, can, yeah, just a minute, can get Arthur up and bring him to the Falls of the Ohio for a theme park? <laughs> yes, question back here. Yes, we're doing DNA from a son to a father or a grandfather or a brother, or whichever we can get to. They're establishing parental uh, responsibilities now in the courts from fathers to sons and assigning parentage. Uh, all we're doing is a 1,500-year-old paternity suit. <laughs> and uh, But once we've got that, you know, there's going to be a lot of people throwing stones at us, and we're waiting to, to have it because they're going to say, oh, it can't be. If you saw the Louisville paper, the guy looked for three months and said, I really believe there was never a Maddox. Uh-uh. He's a real man. We found him. We found him in 89, and we knew where he was. And we just can't get to him. Yeah, uh, th this Maddock is, is clearly, you know, a very important man in the 6th century. Uh, cousin of the king is the Bishop of Tylo. He became an archbishop. And you get the life of Tylo written out. And one of the major events in the life of Tylo is a visit to his monastery by Maddock, who prays with him. The fact that they actually mention that Maddock is there means Maddock is a biggie. He's a big man. And you also get the charters of Land of Cathedral being signed by King Myrig. And alongside him, signing next, is Maddock. So Maddock is, again, a very important person. And every indication, and again, you don't get mentioned in the Welsh Triads unless you're a leading prince or a king, and Maddock is splattered all over the Triads. So he's a very important person indeed. He's no, he's no small fry. Okay? Are there other mountains around Absolutely, but unfortunately that area is now underwater, or it's right up to the mounds. Uh, yeah, there were five or six mounds. We've got a description of the area. Uh, would be neat because we think there would be DNA in those mounds also. Uh, the archaeologists that dug in there didn't want the bones. They wanted the trinkets. That's what goes in the museum. They threw everything away. Thank God one of them kept a jaw. That uh, could be a problem because there were 11 people in that mound. If he caught the wrong jaw, it probably a descendant. Probably would match up, but it won't be a father-son relationship, which we're looking for. Back here. Yes, Lewid. 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 Well, he said son of Mike. And could actually... Jim Michael has a text for the poem and a translation, so if you get in touch with Jim, I think it's great on that one. Could actually be Morgan, because he was conceived overseas, that's what Morgan means. So we're looking at somebody who was probably 10 years old, who was back with, uh, with him, talking to King Arthur, saying, hey, man, we ought to go over to this place. This place is no good here where we are. We can't plant anything. It's bad. So, it, 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 says, it says colored. It doesn't say black. Yeah, negri. So it's, he's a dark, dark one. Yeah. So could be, could be half-breed, you see. And we could have half breed on the throne of Britain for. We definitely have to identify the knight, N A I S, Papa, Nebula, Papa. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Any other? Yeah, one back here. We we didn't ask you to believe us. <laughs> Just, we want you to, to research it. Take a look at the stuff, and it's all there. It's all. No, I don't think it's there at all. Okay. Um, That's fine. Yeah, we